Gram staining is a common technique used to differentiate two large groups of bacteria based on their different cell wall constituents. The Gram stain procedure distinguishes between Gram positive and Gram negative groups by coloring these cells red or violet. Gram positive bacteria stain violet due to the presence of a thick layer of peptidoglycan in their cell walls, which retains the crystal violet these cells are stained with. Alternatively, gram-negative bacteria stain red, which is attributed to a thinner peptidoglycan wall, which doesn't retain the crystal violet during the decoloring process. Reagents Crystal violet Iodine solution Grams iodine Decolorizer Safranin or carbol fusion Water First, we need to take a clean glass slide and degrease it with 96% alcohol. The first step in most bacterial staining procedures is the preparation of a smear. A good smear preparation is the key to a good stain. The most common errors in staining are due to poor smear preparation. We put alcohol on a cotton sponge or gauze and thoroughly wipe the glass on both sides. After that, we apply one drop of sterile water to a decreased glass slide. You can apply one drop of saline instead of sterile water. It is very important to apply one drop of water to dry the smear quickly. Next, we need to light the spirit lamp and sterilize the microbiological loop. An alcohol burner or spirit lamp is a piece of laboratory equipment used to produce an open flame. Thermal sterilization of the microbiological loop is a very important step in swab preparation. My culture is on slant agar in a test tube. We need to take some biomass of the microorganism from the surface of the agar. Use the flat part of the loop to smear the drop around the slide. Use a spiraling circular motion to spread out the drop. Don't forget to sterilize the microbiological loop after this procedure. Note that it is important to recognize the side of the glass slide that you put your bacterial sample on. Next, dry the smear over the fire. The main thing is not to overheat the smear, so that the bacterial cells don't collapse. Heat fix the sample to the slide by carefully passing the slide with a drop or small piece of sample on it through a Bunsen burner or spirit lamp three times. Place your slide on a slide holder or a rack. Flute the slide with crystal violet. Let the crystal violet stand for about 60 seconds. Now flood your slide with the iodine solution. Let it stand about a minute as well. Some guidelines recommend. When the time has elapsed, wash your slide for 5 seconds with water. The specimen should appear blue-violet when observed with the naked eye. Next step involves addition of the decolorizer, ethanol. Step 3 is somewhat subjective, because using too much decolorizer could result in a false gram-negative result. Likewise, not using enough decolorizer may yield a false gram-positive result. Next, rinse with the water for 5 seconds. 
The final step involves applying the contrast stain, carbol fusion. Flood the slide with the dye as you did in steps 1 and 2. Let this stand for about a minute to allow the bacteria to incorporate the carbol fusion. Gram-positive cells will incorporate a little or no contrast stain and will remain blue-violet in appearance. Gram-negative bacteria, however, take on a pink color and are easily distinguishable from the gram positives. Again, rinse with water for 5 seconds to remove any excess of dye. After you have completed steps 1 through 4, you should blot the slide gently with bibulous paper or allow it to air dry before viewing it under the microscope. It is necessary to examine bacteria in a microscope using immersion oil. In light microscopy, oil immersion is a technique used to increase the resolving power of a microscope. By the way, instead of the liquid dye crystal violet, we can also use filter paper impregnated with this dye, which must be moistened with the water after being applied to the glass. Then this will be the gram method in the Sinov modification. Gram-positive organisms are easy purple or blue in color, while gram-negative organisms are easy pink or red in color.